Hi, welcome to another video with art for you to create. This time we have a book of art rageous projects. And even though this book is about 20 years old, it is kind of hard to find. I will be providing links down below where you can actually get your own material to follow along with the book there's a lot of interesting history and facts and we're going to use this book to explore new art forms and ideas for this video we are going to be exploring the pages of the fine art of pounding on metal and of course it gives you some of the history like back in the stone age people would collect shiny nuggets of yellow from rivers we know these nuggets as gold. They learned the nuggets could be bent shaped by pounding them. This is how metal shaping started. They learned to make tools and even works of art. Thanks to modern machines though, blacksmithing is now a dying art. That is really, really sad. Along with the little bit of history on pounding on metal, there's also a pop quiz which I will be answering at the end of this video. Here's the pop quiz question. There still exists one large group of professionals who continue to work soft metal by hand every day. You've undoubtedly spent a number of unpleasant hours with them. You even carry bits of metal. They've smashed and smushed into your body who are they and where exactly is the hand worked metal let's begin on our project and our project in this book is going to be building a copper book <laughs> and here is the constructions on how to do it and as you can see on the cover of this book they actually give you the copper that you need so we are going to take this out and the material that we are going to be using to make our little copper book is some scissors paper for pages copper foil a paper puncher um, some string and we are going to need our shaping tools to make the pattern in the copper because we are going to actually be embossing the copper to make a design. The first step you're going to do is to cut a four by seven rectangle out of the copper with a one inch little tab on one side. On step number two, it says to cut a four by seven for your paper because you're going to make these are going to be the pages of your book and depending on what type of book you want is depend on what type of paper you should use for your book like um, if you just want to do a little writing journal book then you can use regular printer paper um, but I am personally wanting to do a little tiny art book so I got mixed medium paper and it's a little thicker so it can deal with art projects better now it says to fold your rectangle in half you see i fold right on the metal part using my ruler and then of course it says to also fold your paper now you're going to get your hole puncher. Now we used our hole puncher. If you can see, we used our hole puncher to punch little half way. We didn't punch a hole through it. We punched a hole on the edge. So that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. And then we're wanting to do the same with the paper just so you know lining up these punch holes with this puncher now hopefully you got a better puncher than i do
After I got done making my little book, I had enough copper foil to actually make this bracelet that the book showed me how to make. And I recommend trying this out. It was a lot of fun making these two items. And to answer your pop quiz question, what was the one large group of professionals who still continue to work soft metal by hand every day? Who are they? And that would be the dentist. And where exactly is this hand worked metal? That would be your mouth. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this project with you. Please comment down below if you have any tips or if you just want to share a project that you have done similar to this. I hope you like, share, and subscribe for more art for you to create.